wherever we want to go, our feet will definitely take us there. The past few months and the days we have seen President Akande Chilema come to report to this country concerning the debt burden that we had been encumbered with as a country and we need to make progress. But today I thought we should point out some of the salient factors which we feel are unfortunately lies and misrepresentation or the true fact of what is happening. Although President Akande Chilema is asking himself to be patted on the back and is praising that he has delivered restructuring to the debt of Zambia, we feel that is serious misdirection and is a total lie. Let me walk you through the two big lies that the UPND with Hakande Chilema is lying to the people of Zambia concerning our debt situation and our restructuring situation. First and foremost, unfortunately, we have seen them in the past times mislead the people of Zambia to telling them that they have restructured the debt. And they have been saying that the debt that Zambia has is six point. 3 billion US dollars. That is not true. That is a lie. That is misinformation because the true debt situation of Zambia is that we have an excess of 26.29 billion US dollars. So the question is, why are they avoiding to talk about the 20 billion US dollars, but they choose to mislead the people that all that we owe, all that we have as a burden as a country now is 6.3 billion. But when they're in the opposition, they used to say the true figure that we had 26.29 billion US dollars. But now they're in government, and after that trip to Europe, they have come now, they are saying that the only debt that we have is 6.3 billion, and they claim that they have restructured it. Unfortunately, the truth of the matter is that they have failed to find a plan on how they are going to resolve the 20.29 billion US dollars. But they have fallen in a trap that was perpetuated by IMF to windhook them to believe that there is a strategy in which they can restructure our debt. And the amount of money that is involved in that proposition is 6.3 billion US dollars. But instead of them being truthful and honest to say, no, we still have a debt, we still have a debt of 26. 0.29 billion US dollars, they have changed the narrative and they are saying, praise us, we are so great, we have restructured Zambia's uh, debt. But to drive that agenda of lies, they have to even now all of a sudden be talking about only 6.3 billion US dollars. But the truth of the matter is that our true debt stock right now is 26.29 billion US dollars. And we still have 20.26 billion US dollars that the UPND and Mr. Kande Chilema all of a sudden is choosing not to talk about because they don't have a plan. And indeed, they are hoping that with time comes, they will lead Zambians into a lie to feel that they are doing something about it, when in fact, they are not. The second lie that we have seen the UPND is propagating with President Haka Inde Ichilema is a lie that they have gone to have a deal where we'll only be paying 1% interest on our debt which is not true. The truth of the matter is that in the first 14 years that they are pushing to negotiate, by the way, they have not even negotiated, they are pushing to negotiate, is that for 14 years we'll be paying 2.5% interest. And in the final six years we'll be paying 4% interest. That is very expensive interest and that will cost our country a lot of money in an excess of even 2 billion US dollars. Now let's try to say, even in the proposition that was curved out there, that they are claiming that they have restructured debt when in the actual fact they have just extended the period of payment and have pushed the suffering to the future generation. One of the most tricky propositions that we have seen that they have pushed in is that they don't want to be paying anything until after 2026. If you look at the mathematics, we know 2026 is election year. So they want not to pay anything as they have not been paying since 2020 up to today, which is unfortunate. And if you see in what they are proposing to restructure is that in the after 2026, the next benchmark that they have is 2031. We see that they plan that those generations that will come after 2031 will need to pay an excess of 5.5 billion US dollars. It is very much sad for us to envision that after 2031 the generation that will take over zambia will need to be paying 500 million us dollars every year money that us we are avoiding to pay but we want them in future after 2031 probably we know president kinda chilema will not be in any place of even having a rate of strength he will be very odd if god gives him life 
and Zambians then will need to be paying 500 million US dollars every year for 12 years. Now, if you look at this, it is very retrogressive because we are simply trying to create a vacuum for future generation that they should come and suffer the consequences of our negligence and borrowing. And that is not how you restructure debt. That is not how you help develop a country. That is how you kill a country by trying to postpone the problems that you'd have solved today to make them the problems of future generation. We are where we are today is because we have been procrastinating, pushing problems into the future. And that is very bad. It is mediocre, it is retrogressive, and it is really visionlessness.